guys, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and today I just wanted to touch on lightly a topic that I saw I came across. Uh, Alana, she has a channel that she is doing individually with Troy Baker, Mike, and then there is, what's his other, the other person's name? Austin, yes, Mike and Austin. Uh, they're composers and programmers and directors, and she has them on the podcast, and the topics come up, and basically, I wanted to respond to a topic that they talked about. They've been talking about a lot of, like, Last of Us and stuff like that, and I don't want to touch on that. That's for whoever wants to do that. But uh, the topic was, would you buy a game that had the option to where you can cut out a lot of stuff? Would you buy a game... That, like The Witcher 3 was the prime example. It's a 60 plus hour game. You literally have to go through many, 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 many levels of different things. And would you play that option if it were to come up? So like instead of it being a 60 hour option, it's cut in half to 30 hours. Or you can do like a really fast one where it's like 15 hours. And for me, I would buy it. I would keep it. And as long as they keep the full option to have like say, hey... You're like, you know what? I really do want to try the full vo the full version. Why not just go for it? I say there is pros and cons to everything. Um, for me, we'll start off with the good and then we'll end with the bad. The pros are, I sometimes don't have the time to play a 60 hour game. I'm still struggling to get through Breath of the Wild. I had issues with Ocarina of Time and it just never, I can get down to sit down to play. I have my dogs who, will never give me a moment to breathe. I Every four to three hours, I have to stop, feed them, give them, like they're like babies, they're like two-year-olds. See, anybody who has a dog knows that they're two-year-olds. Cats are teenagers, they're two-year-olds. So I have to stop. I cannot just fully game. Anybody who has kids, they can't fully game and put all their effort into it. I have a full-time job. I cannot just stop and just go, okay, you know what, I'm gonna bleed through this and go beat the 60-hour game and Sometimes 60 hour games, I play them on a Saturday or a Sunday, go through maybe a five hour stretch, and then I'm done. But then also, I have a YouTube channel, so I have to play games that are going to be for the stream, for, for me to like get through my backlog that I have committed to playing and getting through my backlog, so I wanted to fully commit to that. So then all the games that are like super long, that are games that I've had on backlog forever, they get like an hour. <laughs> one hour or two hours so like breath of the wild i stop for a minute put it on the back burner because i'm playing animal crossing because i need a breather moment you know and then there's indie games that are like three hours four hours if you actually know what you're doing like a prime example remothered i'm playing that it's not hand holding me i'm trying to figure it out and i'm struggling but i looked it up because i was like well maybe i don't want to play it if it's going to take me that long it's like Four hours. If you really put in the time, can know where you're going, know what you're doing, cutscenes and everything, playtime, everything, four hours. I love that kind of game. <laughs> I love that kind of game where I can play a game, get my story in. It's like Outlast. You can't fight back. I mean, unless you get caught and then they catch you and it's literally just like stab, run. Ah! So for me, that's a pro. I, I I can go through, do what I need to do, get done, and pfft, done. And then I can watch the story. I watch a lot of streamers, I'm being honest. When there's a 60 hour game and I just want to see somebody blaze through it who speedruns it, I watch the speedrun. I watch them condense a game that's 60 hours plus into like 10-15 hours. I watched somebody speedrun Last of Us 2, where they just got rid of all the cutscenes and went to the major parts, and they were done. And it literally was done, and I enjoyed that. So, another pro is for people who can't sit for 60 plus hours and play games. I'm getting older, I'm telling you right now, I'm having issues with my hands. My hands go numb, they start hurting. And for you, it's probably, you're thinking, oh, you have carpal tunnel, something like that. I probably do. It, my, my mother has it and everything like that and so I can't game like I used to I have to you'll see me sometimes on a stream if I'm having my hands down for a second and normally they were up that's me stretching my arm stretching my hand going like this trying to get everything back to normal and there's people with with disabilities who cannot 
fully sit for 60 hours and play a game without taking a breather, taking a break, and they need a shorter game. So then they sometimes won't play that game. And, and look at the game that started a revolution of, you know, would it, would, would it change the industry? Would it make it to where everybody can play games? Prime example, the Nintendo Switch was one of the first to start doing, you know, accessibility for people with disabilities. They separated the controller. So if somebody can't hold it like this, for two, three hours, because they have pain, they can rest their hands on their couch and literally play. I play so much Switch like that because I can't hold my arms like this for a long time. And even if they're resting on, it's still putting, I have a shoulder injury. Like I have to put one arm down and the other arm I can fully keep it the way I wanted to keep it. But to have that as an accessible tool to where people who can just play the game for a few hours, not have to worry about it, they're getting through the major points that they need to get to, and that's a good thing. Point number three is I know so many people, their attention spans are <laughs> I know I have family members who have ADD, ADHD. I have friends who have ADHD, ADD, and you put them in a 60-hour Breath of the Wild or a 60-hour Witcher game, and <laughs> they're done. They cannot hold the attention span because they don't like the collectible part. They don't like to, they, they just want to fight the bosses and get to where they need to go to. So it's like, do I really need to create all this stuff to get where I need to go? Can I just have a sword and a shield and get where I need to go? I don't want to collect things. Just let me go fight what I need to fight and give me a, one sword, even if it's less powerful. Just give me one sword and I'll battle through and I'll figure out the, the tactics and tendencies that I need to do. Call it a day. I don't care. I don't really care. Now we're going to move on to the pros, to the cons. And we'll do three cons. The first one is, would it destroy the story? Would it stop the story from being where it was? Would they take out big focal points to where somebody hates the game because they didn't do a big boss battle or they didn't do a storyline that steers you in that direction and you don't understand what's going on? So like, you messed this whole entire village over here, but... The other people did it because they did the 60 hour mission. So that person hates the game because they didn't get to that focal point and understand what's going on. But the other person, they understand what's going on. They love the game. Would it start a, a, like a whole group of people on the one side and the other group on the other side clashing more because they hate the story? But the other people were like, I love the story. And it's like, well, I don't like it because I don't understand it. It's like, well, did you actually play part da 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 da? No, I didn't play part da da da. Well, then that's why you don't understand and you don't get it. It's like, we might have that issue of they take out that major focal point to cut time. Would then now everybody might want to do that. It's like, well, you got you to gotta take the chance and maybe see if it works. Con number two is would it keep the industry really, really busy? Because now you have to have a separate team who condenses everything. And would any company want to take that chance? I mean, that's another, like, budget team separate who could be working on mechanics and figuring out this part of the story. But now they have to just be focused on cutting the, you know, chopping at the story at. And it's like, I don't know if many companies would do that. I don't know if that would happen. And if it did, would it change the game entirely? Would it make the game no longer be a 60-hour game? to, well, we'll just cut it in a couple hours so we can then condense it even more. We'll do 40 hours, we'll do this, we'll do that, and take off focal points and here and there and stuff like that. So that's another thing to think about with them. Also, another thing to think about, con number three, is would that bring more bugs into the game? Like, if you were to play the game, we would know plenty of games that are buggy, and would it hurt the game? Would it help the game? We don't know because we never had that actually happen. So to think about it, like, would it bring in more bugs because the game is freaking out trying to decipher what part you're doing and that's a lot more to cram into a game. But I do know PS5 is going to be more hardware, more specs, you know, to help out. PS4 Pro was more specs. So it might actually happen, but until the, f like, the first couple games are probably going to be bad. You know what I mean? The first couple games... Anytime you do anything, it's it's like trying to get the mechanics to work, try to figure it out. 
not everybody is a triple A company, so you know you're gonna have a couple like kinks in the road of like, hmm, that was horrible, they shouldn't have cut that much, they should have did this, they should have did that. And then you're gonna have opinions of like that game was just bad and when you play it at the 10 hour mark or whatever. So we're gonna have issues of companies maybe cutting too much. Maybe they didn't realize where they should have stopped at and just went, oh well you wanted a 10 hour game. So we're gonna have you just deal with it and then you have the option to play the 40 hour or 60 hour version if you want to. So go back to that. I'm not gonna really worry about it. So yeah guys, that is me responding to Alana's video. I will link Alana's video in the description below so you can go check out their first reactions to everything and see what they thought of and Me personally, I would like that. I would like to have more accessibility to games that I really enjoy and want to play and Where you can just you know not have to craft not have to look for items not have to do that because Yes, there is options where you can just blaze through it, but then when the final boss battle happens, you didn't collect anything, so then you're basically screwed and you have to really do go back. So, I really would want that. I would want that. Let me know in the comments below. Would you like that? Would you like that as an option? Thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. And as always, keep on gaming, everybody. We need more accessibility in this world. Accessibility is key. Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games too